Okay, so I uh, was looking around on YouTube and I couldn't find a decent review of the uh, EMG afterburner, so I decided to make one myself. Um, I went ahead and pulled the, I took the plunge and, and bought one and uh, installed it. This is a Les Paul Studio. Uh, it's got EMG 8185 pickups in it, uh, chrome finish. And I installed the afterburner here. It's a push pull pot. Uh, kind of a hidden deal. It's got two master volume or two volumes and a master tone. Uh, and I'll be playing through my uh, Marshall Clone amp. Okay, so I have my uh, amp on a moderate gain setting. It's probably on about seven out of ten. And uh, the afterburner's turned off, so this is this is just without the afterburner. <laughs> Okay, fine, no big deal. Uh, and then if I just turn the afterburner on all the way, with the volume all the way down on the afterburner, you can, I mean, it's just, it's not affected. It's the exact same tone, or, or your gain level, everything, no difference. Um, if I turn the afterburner about halfway up, you can you, you really start to get some nice gain out of it. Turn it all the way to ten. You know, you get you're in pretty high gain territory. So, uh, but that's with the gain, the amp on moderate gain. If I turn it up more, you know, you can be in full on hardcore metal territories. Yeah, the afterburner on about seven and the amp on about, uh, I don't know, eight and a half. So, yeah, full on with the gain up pretty high. Start chugging pretty good. Uh, and as you can hear, there's once you've got the gain up this loud, you know that you, there's a little bit of I'm getting some noise out of it. That I mean, if I turn it off, you know the amp's pretty much quiet. But uh, as soon as you pull that, just like with any boost pedal, you know you're, you're going to get some some get some noise. But if you back off it just a little bit, you know, the noise is virtually gone and I'm still... Still got tons of gain. I mean, and there's more in it, you know. I, I go higher on the amp. I can still go higher on the afterburner, but again, you've got a noise problem. So my conclusion here is that the, um, you know, the typical EMG setup there with the afterburner in it, it, it takes a, a fairly high gain amp like mine. There's a basically a JCM 800, and uh, just puts it over the top, you know, to a, uh, you know, puts you into a 6505 territory, 5150 territory into the the modern metal gain. Um, if you if you have it on a a lower gain amp like a, a class 5 or a fender type amp or uh, even an epiphone valve junior and you pop in that uh, afterburner you're gonna get a nice tube overdrive you don't get I'm running this at 18 volts two nine volts in it so it's all clean headroom I can I don't get any distortion coming out of the uh, the guitar uh, it, it, it's it's all in the tubes. It sounds just like nice saturated tube overdrive. You don't get like a a pedal type tone to it. It it sounds really organic, and uh, so I'm really pleased with it. The only downside is that there is noise uh, when you've got lots of gain cranked on the amp, and then you crank the afterburner all the way. 
but that's to be expected. So I hope this uh, hope this review is helpful.